Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody asked a question on Facebook, and I'm almost sure I've got a video, but I thought I'd just go ahead and do another one real quick. When they use the parallel dimension tool, they can't read. They have to zoom in. And I have to do that a lot of times on videos when I don't have this set. So if you think about that the parallel dimension tool is a text, that writing is a text, click on your text tool before you do anything, go up here and change it to whatever point size you want, click on dimension and say, okay. And now we'll get the parallel dimension tool and go from there to there. And now you can very easily read it. And also the second question was about, this is 6.79, if we elongate this, the dimension will actually keep up with it. That's because this is set right here. I don't know in 2021 how you can turn that off right now. Uh, if I figure out, I'll make another, because you could go click on that and go OK, but that is still highlighted. Um, enable the checkbox of default property if you want to change and hit OK. And I think it's still going to work even if we draw another line. Now let's change this. And you can change. See, it did not change. We actually did turn that off. So if you want that to work, let's just redo the whole thing. When you go up here, click on this box and hit OK. And then when you measure with the parallel dimension tool and you resize the box to whatever size you want, the dimension tool will keep up with it and actually give you the true dimension. As you can see right there, it's rounded off. Let's make it 20 even, and it makes it 20 even. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.